Welcome to The Global Gadabout, a frugal introvert's guide to exploring the world further, longer, and cheaper. Today, I want to talk about airline regulations and make sure you know your rights when it comes to overbooked flights in the USA. I've developed a handy flowchart to help you figure out exactly what the airline does or does not owe you depending on your specific situation. You can find this infographic, as well as a lot more important laws and common practices, in my blog post on U.S. and European airline regulations, which I'll link in the description. So, let's start at the beginning. Is your flight overbooked? No? Great! Then have a nice trip and save this for future reference. Yes, it is overbooked? Okay, does your schedule allow you to volunteer to take another flight? Yes? Cool. Ask what kind of points or flight vouchers the airline will give you in compensation and gain yourself some free travel. On a strict itinerary? Stay put and hope you don't get bumped. If you are involuntarily bumped from your flight, ask how the airline will reroute you. Will you arrive at your destination within one hour of your original time? If so, the airline does not legally owe you anything for your inconvenience. Sorry. If not, are you flying internationally? No? Then will the airline reroute you to arrive one to two hours after your original time? If so, they owe you 200% of a one-way fare on your route, up to $675. If they reroute you to arrive more than two hours after your original time, they owe you 400% of a one-way fare on your route, up to $1,350. If you are flying internationally, will the airline reroute you to arrive one to four hours after your original time? If so, they owe you 200% of a one-way fare on your route, up to $675. If they reroute you to arrive more than four hours after your original time, they owe you 400% of a one-way fare on your route, up to $1,350. The airline can calculate this fare based on the lowest ticket price they sold on that flight and will probably try to offer you miles or flight vouchers instead of money. Feel free to take those if you will use them, but know what you are legally entitled to. Thanks for listening. Check out my blog, theglobalgadabout.com, for a more in-depth post on this topic including your rights regarding flight delays and European airline regulations, as well as more great travel tips and tales. You can sign up for my newsletter and get my free solo travel prep guide. The Global Gadabout has a podcast, YouTube channel, Facebook page, and Pinterest boards. Links are in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to be sure you don't miss any new content. Join me again next time for more fabulous solo budget travel tips from the Global Gadabout.